All right, so I'm going to teach you how to use the pen down here. The pen's located on down the corner of the computer, and you pull it out, and it's just like a pen. If you don't have one, you can talk to one of your nurses on your floor, and they can get you one. To use the pen, you're going to have to turn the screen around and put it down. Now, the pen's just like a normal mouse, and you can just, like, move it around like a normal mouse, and you can click on things like a normal mouse. I'm going to teach you how to use it on our ring. So you go to Art Rage, just like you would with a normal mouse, and you wait for it to load. And now you can do the same things you could before with a mouse. So you just like do this, oops, and see, you can draw like that. The only difference with this is when you use stencils. Can't, you can't, like, click on it to move it, so you have to use these tools below, like, down here. So this is to move it, so you click on the stencil with it to move it where you want to. And this is rotate, so you can rotate it, or not rotate, zoom up and zoom out. And this is rotate, so you can rotate it around. So that's really the only difference with a pen versus a mouse. And yeah, it's ba everything's basically the same. To uh, like unclick these, you just click on something else, and that's about it. Well, so you'll exit out of this and show us how to run the uh, e-learning for kids with the mouse. Okay, to run e-learning for kids with this um, pen, you just do the same thing you would with a mouse, and you double click on or double tap on Internet Explorer, and you go to home page. And now e-learning for kids will automatically pop up, uh, pop up, and you can click on your grade level, um, and so you wait, and you can take lessons about language arts, math, and you use this just like a regular math scroll down English. Just click on a math one. Science so course, do a math computers, one. and um, health. So like an English one, you could just click on any of these. Oh, is it playing music inside your headphone that we can't hear? No. You can make it bigger by just doing little tapping that thing. Now it is. Okay, cool. So, there's lots of animations and you can have fun with it, right? Show us how to exit it when we're done. So, when you're done with this, oh, is it listening? Yeah, all you got to do is exit it. Yeah, nobody can hear the sound except for you because you have the headphones on. So you can pause it by pressing the pause button. And if you're done or if you don't want to play it anymore, you can just exit. And it will be back to this. So if you want to play a different game, you just scroll up and down and find the game you want to play or learn about. So if you want to learn about blood, you double tap on that. Or, yeah. And so now, you can make it bigger, and you can learn about it. And you can look up and see the parts of the blood cells. And so this is how you learn about it, but if you want to learn about something else or play something on. else. Oh, and you can click on these too and learn about it. And you can read that and learn, like, what parts of them. You can go to main menu, and that's back. And then you can click on these things and learn about them. Can you take the survey with the pen, too? Oh, yeah, you can take the survey. So, to take the survey, you exit out of this, and you exit out of this, and you go over to here and click on, did you have fun, or double tap on it. And now you can make it bigger. And you just use it like a regular mouse, so you, like, click on those, and then you can scroll down like that. And then to write in here, you can either pick this up again and turn it around and use it like a regular keyboard and type. Or you can leave it like this 
and you can click this icon. And in this icon, it allows you to, in this thing, it allows you to write. So you can write like this. New line. You do new line. Then you have to do new line because it can't all fit. And if you mess up, you can just go back. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I screwed up. So if you accidentally press that, you can just click here again. You can also go into this mode here where you draw in the boxes. That might be easier. So you just draw one letter in each box. Okay, well that's it. Why don't you uh, try it yourself, okay? Okay, so, so... Let's stop this. Okay. Thank you very much, Jenna. Thanks for showing everybody how to use these cool notebook computers for the hospital. We hope you enjoy them. A lot of people worked on making them and donating money in the Chicagoland area so everybody could have a lot of fun.